in the interview you know, regarding about um, the, the, the main issues of accessibility in video games regarding disabled people um, the, um, the, the, um, would you know what, what the main issues are that um, in video games that, that is for disabled people well um, for m me for my impairment the main issue is uh, uh, the amount of buttons on the, the joypad. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I'm uh, using the 3DS yes. today. Mm -hmm. And uh, like, even though it's really good, side buttons are an issue for me. Mm -hmm. But for many people, um, gaming has come on um, quite a lot in terms of accessibility. Yeah. With, um, the Kinect, mm -hmm. yes. the Wii, obviously. Mm -hmm and uh, a, a PlayStation Move. Yeah. So like, even though they're not in the main uh, for serious game mm -hmm. uh, gamers, apart from yeah. Wii, uh, uh, they have a little bit. But most of the time, instead of simplifying controllers, games yeah. controllers, like my heyday was the uh, GamesCube controller, because mm -hmm. I could do everything, almost everything, with one hand yeah um but they over uh, uh, they load buttons on you got to press buttons mm -hmm. to do certain action with certain things and i think they complicate when they can simplify yeah so like um that's my uh, that's my main issue mm -hmm. uh, but also it's been put proven that games can be accessible. Indeed, yes. Yeah, um, the three main aspects that we, when you've already highlighted is control, yeah. but the other two being um, audio-visual as well as um, understanding. Yes. It can be, it yes. Can be an issue for disabled people. Um, in your opinion, what, what do you think could be, could be done um, to, to, to help address these issues? Um, I think getting uh, uh, disabled gamers, if, I, uh, if there is, uh, well, I know there are disabled people who are gamers, mm -hmm. to actually have um, input in games testing. I know it's a very sought after career, mm -hmm. like uh, being a games tester, yeah. but to think about, so like not only think about the non-gamer market, i.e. Yeah. family market, but also uh, transferring that. Because a Wii, a Wii is in every every uh, youth club in the land, every uh, uh, every day provision in the land. Mm -hmm. Not because it's a great console, right. it's because it's accessible for people. So people can just pick up a Wii remote and bow a ball or shoot an arrow. Mm -hmm. And not using, uh, not leading too much dexterity. Right. So that that's the w way forward. But Nintendo never thought of that. Mm, uh, uh, they thought of family market. Yeah. How to get people that are traditionally not into games mm -hmm. using the Wii. Right. Uh, so like th that's a very positive outcome offshoot of yep. uh, Nintendo's marketing but where they haven't picked up is they haven't gone into uh, looking at more accessibility features mm -hmm. for getting games yeah. uh, in a lot of aspects. Yeah, where Nintendo have, have focused on it, um, yeah. at least uh, for, for both Microsoft and Sony they haven't even thought about it. They, yeah, they yeah, yeah. I mean um, Mark, how do you find uh, games accessibility? Well, um, well, games accessibility is okay. It's all okay for me, of course. Um, but um, but it can it can be quite can, can, I've noticed that it can be quite difficult for for individuals um, or, or other people who have not been able to be able to play them because they've either been too complicated. Yes. Or they won't be able, be able to either be able to see or hear what's, what's being shown what's on our screen, right. as well as well as um, as well as um, some requiring micromanagement. It can be quite difficult. I'm okay with a bit, a bit of a certain ones, but um, some but, but sometimes I can slightly struggle, particularly around micromanagement. Really, but but I, do, but I do try and adapt. Okay, that's great. Thanks. Any more questions? No, that'll be okay. That's great. Thanks. Brilliant. Cheers.